Boom, 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 boom. I'm chilling at home, it's locked down. I'm about to get my hair all laid down. Boom, 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 boom. I'm chilling at home, boy, I'm grown. You ain't never seen me like this before. Boom, 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 boom. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Temi Madroshe and today I am giving you a little bit of a wig review as well as a wig install tutorial. Very excited to be doing this because I am reviewing the amazing Nubia Silver Hair. Absolutely obsessed with the brand. So I'll be showing you guys how I managed to achieve this. First of all, shout out to this packaging girl it is so sleek professional and cute every time she sends you a wig she'll always include like a little gift how cute is this the last time she sent me a wig she gave me lashes because she also has a lash company well a lash brand and this is like a little you know chain that she made herself a 16 inch brazilian remy wig the good this has outdone herself with this color it's so nice it's nice and icy here in the front and then we get like it's not like an ombre vibe but it's the colors just bleed in very well it gets darker as you go down but it's quite pastel which I appreciate because I know it's so difficult trying to color a wig making it pastel when you could accidentally just make it too dark so I you know did my little method you can find it on IGTV where I just literally slick my hair back I didn't use gel, I actually didn't use any product because I had applied a butter to my hair prior. So all I did was wet it in the shower, I combed it all back with a brush and I made a little pony at the back, make the bun as small as possible. This is the only, only, only time I make an exception for witch hazel. Um, apply witch hazel along the perimeter of your hairline to get rid of that oil and any dirt that you might have. This is really good because it will keep your wig secured because the only reason your wig doesn't stick is if you have oil on your you know your hair or your hairline i dab it on a cotton pad and you know when i started laying wigs i always used to wonder like why does the wig not stick properly till i realized it's because of the oil that is here nubia silva is a Joburg based um i would call her multidisciplinary artist because she is formally trained as an artist, she did her BA in Fine Art at Michaelis at UCT. The next thing we're going to do is apply our Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel. And I particularly like doing this as the first step just to get my real edges all slicked back. This is not necessarily part of the gluing process, but it's to ensure that my own natural edges do not peep outside of the lace you know what i'm saying you can use any glue of your choice i mean any gel of your choice i really like the l'oreal the l'oreal extreme hold i actually like it more a bit more than the got to be gel one because it's super gentle like it gives you that extreme hold without the i guess stiffness or hardness of this um got to be one so as I was saying, Nubia Silva is a um, multidisciplinary artist. She's based in Joburg and she, I think, has been working as a makeup artist and hairstylist for maybe over three years now because when I met her in Cape Town, we were both at the same campus and she was doing fine art while simultaneously, you know, doing makeup and hair and she would do more than just beating other people's faces i layer the glue so after i've gotten all my edges back i will start applying the glue gel on the you know on this area along my hairline not on the hairline but just along it and i don't have much forehead real estate so i try my hardest to stick as close as to the to the hairline because I don't want my wig sitting right here, you know. And she would do a lot of um, editorials, high fashion type of work. Like you'd see her work in Cosmo, Glamour, all the magazines that we no longer exist now. And I really liked her work, particularly because she works on all types of people, all genders, 
all sexualities she has a kind of beyond bound approach to beauty she'll do like really avant-garde type of things bleach her brows white or you know shave her brows or color her hair in a certain way or wear a mullet i think i really gravitate to that super expressive type of style to mention that the got to be products are available at Discam, so don't get scammed y'all and start paying a lot of money at these insta boutiques when you do not have to i'm using this got to be spray i'm doing the same kind of thing where i'll be applying it along my hairline i actually forgot to say that this is not a lace frontal so it's only a closure so i actually don't have to be doing all this admin of sticking the sides the other thing is when you are let's say applying a frontal you want to do it in sections right so if i had a full lace frontal i would be doing it's up to you where you start but i would be let's say starting from this side you just divide your head in thir in, a, in thirds so i'll start with this side the middle and then the end some people start with the middle then they do the sides um, because it helps secure the sections as you go instead of just trying to stick it all at once now this is a pretty small closure and i'm not really mad at that so i like to just tilt my head back and just do that with my red tail comb this is the most important part of course because that's where our lace will be sitting And I'm just doing it lightly. You don't need a lot. A little actually goes a long way with got to be. My hair is reasonably flat, but I'm just noticing that there are some parts that are a bit higher. So I'm going to just grab a bobby pin and try to smooth it down. Yeah, so this wig is our 16 inch Brazilian Remy. She has been customized. The knots have been bleached and it looks very, very stunning. Like as you can see, there's barely any sign of lace when I put it against my skin. The thing I like is that the roots have also been bleached. I really appreciate that. I think it's very difficult to achieve that, you know, fully bleached wig without it looking weird. Especially against, you know, our skin tones as black people. I think this will look really good on me. The first thing I want to do, although the lace is not too light, the first thing I want to do is apply some of my foundation on the lace. I think it will just help with that blending effect. Um, Yeah, so we were just chatting about Nubia Silva. I think it's someone that people need to look out for more, especially in this like age of I guess lack of creativity within the beauty industry and I think the fact that she has a fine art background has a strong influence on you know her approach to beauty and hair makeup and so on because you see that she really pushes those bounds and I really look forward to seeing more artists utilize her brand like she's had people like Fela and Desire who were the then duo of Faka donning her wigs in Europe, Asia and America, which I think is so fabulous, especially when we do like look at forms of not conforming to societal beauty standards. I'm doing another layer of this got to be. So this tutorial is for someone who wants the wig snatched, like BAM! If you are a fighter, which I'm not, if someone tries to pull this wig off, honey, it's not gonna go anywhere. And this is because of the layering that we do. So I feel that, especially with got to be, you can't really get away with just one layer. If you want to keep the install in for more than, let's say, a day, I really advise that you layer it on like I'm doing it right now. And I see that we d she did customize it for me. Um, the baby hairs are, you know, quite long. So if I wanted to, I'd still cut them. But I'm not really into laying baby hairs. Um... Uh, yeah, it fits so snug. I, I'm i going to try my best because the glue is already on here. I want the lace to be cut in a way that is according to my hairline. So I prefer to use nail scissors. 
you can use any scissors it doesn't really matter but i think the nail scissors give me a better effect so i'm literally pulling it right to the front of my forehead and i'm gonna take the scissors and drag i'm not gonna make snip 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 kind of cuts because that's when you get that jagged and super straight effect that is not desirable mm. i hate that i did things in the wrong order jesus christ let's take all of that back like reverse it flip it and reverse it what i like to do when i am customizing my own wig like doing the plucking myself i like to use a foam this is the revlon flex natural hold mousse basically it helps control the hair when you are trying to get it to sit in a certain direction i'm going to use this to assist with the cutting process because i feel like the hair strands are all over the place and this helps if you are plucking your wig and you just want to have a clearer perspective of where the hair is this helps as well for actually getting the hair flat at the top especially the top part because you don't want a wig looking like a cat girl or a helmet nah sweetie so as i said you want to drag the scissors instead of making cuts like that so that we have a nice natural seamless appearance you can start in the middle there you can just make a clean cut and then drag your scissors see so yiki you see that i'm dragging it of course you do have to make a motion of cutting uh-huh i'm gonna keep inching towards it towards the top i just want to make sure that everything is even as we go drag it my sweetie drag her drag her <laughs> so yeah let's do it again i'm almost where i want it to be can you see how seamlessly that's already blending into my skin tone ah oh, nubia you did that sweetie you did that <laughs> remember when that american dragged our lace fronts as south africans yo yeah, we were in hell guys like we were in literal hell i'm gonna chop away the rest of this lace but our front part is looking you know it's looking progressive but yo we were dragged guys and i'm actually very proud of us as south african women or people who wear wigs honestly we have come a very very long way we have seen the light that your knots must be bleached hairline or your frontal must be plucked you don't want to be walking around with a helmet don't do it and i'm sorry if my tone is not pleasant but guys come on let us get with the program and the thing is right i feel that doing this on your own is a bit difficult if you are a beginner so sometimes you can just leave it to the professionals there aren't many um salons or hairstylists that actually customize wigs you know they actually scammed us back in the day because they used to sell wigs as customized when custom merely meant measuring the back of your head and giving you a strap that is that size that is not customization customization is leaching the knots plucking the wig maybe perhaps inquiring with the client about their head size so that the cap fits their head so i'm going to go in again with this glue and i'm just letting it sit for a couple of seconds oh it's dripping it's dripping honey it's dripping there aren't a lot of you know hairstylists that give the service so it's either you learn how to do it there's so many tutorials on youtube even nubia has an amazing amazing youtube um channel where she actually shows us how to do our own installs how to color our own hair how to pluck our own hair so she's actually a really good resource in that regard now i'm taking my comb you can use a rat tail comb or any comb that has some some kind of actually it doesn't matter what kind of comb you use as long as you don't do it with your hands and that's because your body temperature can affect the whole gluing process of course you can wear a wig cap under this if you prefer I know a lot of people like doing the bald cap method. Yo, yeah, I tried it once and it totally kicked me. Like, I, 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 and easy babes, it was so difficult. I think I will be plucking this frontal a bit more just to give myself a nice defined part. 
sometimes your foundation can make the hair dirty so i don't like that i think it looks so disgusting so i like to just take my towel and make sure that there's no foundation on the actual hair i'm just going to take some tweezers you can use any kind but these are stainless steel ones from clicks and i'm just haphazardly plucking that part because our girl is nice and bleached i'm not worried about any knots especially if it tends to be too high but i'm worried that it's my actual hair underneath that's too high i just want to go in a bit more here guys can you see this foundation in the front especially with pastel colors sure it does not look good if you want you can even take some soap and just clean it out or your shampoo or whatever the next thing i want to do is i want to take my concealer this is a maybelline fit me concealer i use the lancome taint it doll foundation for underneath i know it looks a bit messy right now but you know with all things wigs makeup it needs to be messy before it gets beautiful touch of silver shampoo really really great for colored hair because i've got all this nasty foundation on the sides your girl is going to wipe that away and these are the things that take you from having a shady install to one that really matters and i need more salons in south africa to offer install services i know there are quite a few but we need more like we need more and I think that people need to up their game in terms of training and knowledge about wigs, wig care, all of that. So the other thing I like about Nubia is the fact that she, in my opinion, specializes in colored um, hair. Like she does a lot of these quirky colors, which I think we really need. There's a bit of a gap in that regard. So I also like to take this mousse and apply it. To the hair prior to the straightening process but i think this gives you more of a bone straight effect i have my straightener here i bought it in dubai so i'm not really sure of the brand but it's called jose eber but it's a really good straightener i like it because it packs some heat what i like to do is use a fine tooth comb like this for straightening because I think it gives you more of a professional finish. I'm going to start here at the back. Can you see how she moves? Oh my god. This hair guys, it's the best. I love how nice and soft it is. And the movement babe. Step where? Step where? And I like that I can see little hints of pink as well. She's a nice icy purple and pink gal. She didn't just come to show us one color, she showed us a range. So I like to straighten the lower part of the hair first and then I end off with the top part. Also because you want the top as sleek as possible. So by all means, that should be the part that you give your most attention to. This wig retails for 3,000 rands, which I think is quite reasonable for good quality hair. And then the wig is colored and then the wig is customized. We have salons charging an arm and a leg for this type of service. So I think my girl Nubia keeps the prices really cute. And can you see how nice and sleek our hair is getting? And I completely owe it to this flex mousse. I honestly do. Like put in the work. It's totally worth it when it comes to your wigs. There's no such thing as overdoing it. Oh my god. This is such a pet peeve. Is when people don't wash their lace. Like your wig can be clean, but after an install, the glue and the foundation make it cakey. Like they make that lace cakey. I totally, totally don't like that. It looks so nasty. Like that's one thing that I try by all means to avoid when it comes to my wigs. And the other thing I like to do is holding it like 
on the side so that it dries down while I am pulling it. I think the tension helps with that laying process. I'm just taking my blow dryer again. I just want to stamp this in. <music> like she's not going anywhere but like one more thing that I really like to do is applying the got to be spray on top of the lace after securing it this is where it's at this is what will take your lace to the next level like you literally melt the wig into your scalp I mean into your skin by doing this I don't know why it doesn't happen when you do it underneath but you get that total melted effect when you apply it on top I don't know why I don't don't ask me don't ask me I don't make the rules but you have to I want to show off with this beautifully customized lace and I feel like just having it down does not do it any justice. I love to take my got to be and spray it on the roots of the hair so that I can give myself a lovely lift. But this gives you such a natural effect. So basically I'll comb all of that up. I'll blow dry it so that it gets Stiff. Unfortunately, it will be stiff. If you don't like that, move along. And then I take my comb and then I brush it down. That's the finessing I'm talking about. So I'm able to show you that lace. I mean, what lace? What lace? <laughs> What lays? And I made this tweet where I was saying, please stop asking me what lays in my comments because Facetune knows exactly where it is. Honey, with this one, Facetune won't know where, what, or why. Like, Facetune will be like, what? What must I smooth? This is such a fun color. Like, honestly, it gives me festival vibes. Also, while we're speaking about festivals, I just need people to understand that they are not a space for cultural appropriation stop wearing people's cultural attire at festivals and this is not just an american issue it happens here too like just a while ago we had um the bacardi beach festival and i don't have issues with people dressing up and being fun and being cute what I'm doing now is, you know, I'm not laying my edges, but I like to lay the edges in the corners. And I like to first take my mousse, lay it with it, and then I'll go in with my gel. I don't really appreciate when people wear attire that is, you know, significant to a particular group of people, ethnicity, culture, and you downplay it by wearing it at a festival with out you know necessarily looking at the context or specifically why those people wear that type of thing and then we have it people our wig is so cute it's looking so good shout out to nubia silva thank you guys so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to comment and subscribe so proud to be uplifting another black girl who's running a business i think we should all be cognizant of supporting our black owned businesses companies everyone that's trying to hustle especially during this pandemic honey stiffwear stiffwear eh a boom I'm chilling at home. I'm all grown. You ain't never seen a girl like this before. Hit him with the verse. Hit him with the hook. Hit him with the left cut, uppercut. Hey! What's my rap name? It's your girl T Easy. Hit him with the verse. Hit him with the hook. Hit him all side, left, right, uppercut with the hook. Hit him with the verse, hit him with the hook, hit him left, right, uppercut, they shook.
boom, a a boom, boom, a a boom. I'm chilling at home. It's locked down. I'm about to get this wig all laid down. Boom, a a boom, boom, a a boom. I'm chilling at home. I'm all grown. You ain't never seen me like this before. Boom, a.